Okay, for our magic lesson this week, I'm bringing in an assistant, my 105-year-old haunted doll, Belle. Since we have Johnny Zappis on, and he is a haunted collector, he has his own beautiful haunted museum, he is an expert in such things, I thought I would introduce you to Belle and then talk about the care and feeding of haunted dolls and haunted objects. They seem to be very popular right now between Zach and who's known for his haunted doll and haunted doll collection at his museum and Bloody Mary has hers and Johnny Zaffis has his and everywhere you go, you can find on the internet people selling haunted dolls. How, do, how many of them are really haunted? Use your intuition to figure it out. Um, and Honestly, just almost like when you're finding a psychic, if you are looking to buy a haunted doll online on eBay or something, kind of check out the seller on it. Just saying, just saying, because you don't want them to have gone over to Target and bought a doll and said they're haunted. Not that I can't teach you how to put a spirit in a doll, but that's a lesson for another day. Anyway, so if you do get yourself a haunted doll, there is a few care and feeding instructions. Spirits do like dolls. Not saying that here some ghost can't go into this little pack of matches. I guess they could, or this, you know, anything else. But if you were a spirit, wouldn't you choose to go into something with eyes and a nose and face and ears that you can talk to? I would. So. Dolls do tend to get haunted a lot. They're loved by people. They're held by kids along the way. And all that energy creates energy. And sometimes it pulls in ghosts. So now if you do have a haunted doll, be careful with it. Because if it really is a haunted doll, you want it to be a positive haunted doll or you want to switch it into it. Because as exciting as a dark and scary haunted doll is, they drain energy. They literally do can drain your energy. They can make you tired. They can give you what feels like bad luck. They honestly could even make you sick. So start out with giving your haunted doll rules. Remember, I always teach that this is our realm of existence. The other side has to play by our rules. People just don't know that, so they give away their power. So when I first got Belle, she was sent to me um, by a beautiful woman in Belgium. She had seen me on Ghost Adventures, or actually the spinoff on Deadly Possessions, doing a seance with Peggy the doll, a very haunted doll who gives people heart attacks. <laughs> yes, they had flown her in from Europe. I did a seance with her, and she figured if I could handle Peggy, I could handle Belle. This beautiful little Belle had made her sick for three years, made her little toddler sick for three years, made their hair fall out, made everything miserable unless she put the doll in a drawer or in the shed, of which the doll didn't like but couldn't affect her. So she thought maybe the doll could use a better home. And that's a really good way to get things. If people know you are into the paranormal or ghosts or supernatural, any friends who have Don and Hall, let them know that you will take it if they're afraid of it. And then you'll get it. But again, so she sent her to me. And this is shows how powerful that Belle was. Um, I had never done a Facebook Live. So my very first Facebook Live ever, I thought I would open the box. I opened the box and not any of my magic. 50,000 people watched this doll being opened. Not anything because of me, because of the energy within this doll. Um, I've never got that many cents or even within decibel points of it. It's just... It's just the power of a haunted doll. Good or bad, power is power. Um, so I got her out, and yes, she was haunted, but she did have something very, very dark attached. And the dark attached isn't necessarily a person ghost. It was like this other entity, this other energy. And then I didn't want, I didn't want my hair to fall out. I don't have that much hair. I don't want illness in my house or bad luck in my house for my husband, for my pets, for anything. So I banished that negative spirit. I knew if there was going to be a haunted doll here, there was going to be something underneath. So I did not let the sun set before I banished it. And there's that'll be another class, but lots of ways to do it. So all of a sudden, this beautiful little sweet girl spirit started coming out of Belle. All the bad stuff was gone. But this little girl who probably had kind of a rough life, as so often is the story, um, but she became a part of the family. But even so, when she was first, ah, I am Belle, Belle came out. She was really draining. So I had to do things like 
Keep her in a certain area of the house. Use lots of protection items. I, with her, in her little <laughs> broken fingers, I would put a little bag and I'd tie the herb rue. Rue is very, R-U-E, it's very protective. It's used in magic and spells all the time. That really helps. You might choose something else. You could use a black stone, a hem hematite, an onyx, a jet. You can use any other kind of herbs or protection herbs. But keep it with the doll because even if you're getting the positive spirit or you're getting to know them, you want to make sure they're not draining your energy or causing anything until you know what you do. So anyway, I highly recommend everybody having a haunted doll if you like that sort of thing. But even just like with kids or pets, you got to keep them in line just a little bit with love, with respect. But remember, it's your house and it's your realm of existence. And then you guys can all live happily ever after, even though she moves on camera all the time. Did you see that? Yeah.